Hello, it's Lady L with Lady L's Life Talks. How are you today? Today, we're going to be reading Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. Okay, let me just head on over there. Give me one second. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. Here we go. And they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. That's it, guys. The whole earth is full of his glory. The fact that they're like holy, holy, holy. I think sometimes we need to take a moment and just really reflect on that. So... I have a challenge. I have a challenge for you today. I would like every one of you who are who is listening to this right now to take 15 to 30 minutes and sacrifice your time. Sacrifice that time to the Lord to go outside, close your eyes, just stand still for 1 minute. Then open your eyes, look around, look at the grass, look at the sky, listen to the birds, feel the breeze on your skin, feel the sun. And if it's raining, feel the rain. <laughs> That's all right too. The scripture says the whole earth is full of God's glory. Listen to the birds, really listen to the birds. They're singing to God. They're singing. They're talking to God. Open your ears and just listen. Open your eyes. Really look. The thing about it is, is that sometimes we become desensitized to all that's going on around us. The beauty, the, the majesty of what God has created for us. Okay? we really forget that God has created all of this for us. So when you're sharing your faith with someone, you know, someone who doubts God's existence, point out his creation. Point out his creation to them. What God has created on his, this whole earth, all the millions of animals, the millions of trees, the millions of different kind of, you know, grass and trees and all the different types of people. And I mean, it's incredible. It really is incredible. Um, that's what I, that's the challenge for today. Just do that for like 15 to 30 minutes once a week, just to take that time. The earth was created for us. So really go out. Remember what the scripture says, that it's full of his glory. You are actually one of the things that he created. He, you, he created you in his image. Sometimes we may need to just take a look in the mirror. And when we're feeling self-doubt and criticizing ourselves of what we look like and what society says we should look like, you were made in Christ's image. You present the glory of God as well. Amen to that. So once again, everybody, go out, be blessed, and bless others. Ta-ta!